you can sync Conjure by using the Sync and Surface items under the Conjure menu. This lets you effectively replace your Mac OS X desktop with Conjure. When sunk, Conjure will be immune to expose. In this mode, Conjure will always be behind other windows, so if you need it to return to the foreground, use the Surface Conjure menu item. Clusters in Conjure are the answer to the clutter that builds up in your normal Macintosh desktop. To create a cluster, simply select multiple items and click and hold the mouse button down on one of them. A cluster will be created and the selected items will all be sucked into it. Anything can be placed in a cluster from movies, files, pictures, notes, drawings, people, you name it. To expand a cluster, just click it. To collapse it, click it again. The way a cluster expands will be based on its contents and the location of the cluster on screen. You can even have multiple clusters sharing files and objects between them. To delete a cluster, click on it one time and hit the delete key. Its contents will be spread out and they'll stay behind as the cluster itself is deleted. Clothesline is our exciting new answer to visual browsing of files and folders. Simply drag a folder to a wall of Conjure and it will create a clothesline for that folder. Click the clothesline to expand it. Now click and drag back and forth to scroll through the clothesline. You can also use the scroll wheel or trackpad to scroll it back and forth. Note that it is momentum based so it will continue to scroll at the speed you want until you slow it down. Also note that you can resize the clothesline by clicking the edge and dragging up or down. You can have multiple clotheslines running simultaneously. This really comes in handy when you are comparing two sets of graphics visually. Click and hold to slow down the clothesline. Click on any folder to dive into that folder. Click the up arrow to go back up a level. Click and drag up or down to pull things off of the clothesline into Conjure. Click the name of the clothesline to collapse it back onto the side of the window. To delete a clothesline, simply select it and hit delete to remove it. There are a number of excellent backdrops in Conjure. You can set it to a solid color by dragging color off the image well onto the page itself. Or you can choose from a variety of repeating textures from wood tiles to honeycombs. Or scenery like fantastic fjords and tranquil forest roads. Conjure also supports organic desktops created in Quartz Composer. These range from winter storms to underwater lights. Or you can use your own files via the page menu. Okay, everything you've seen so far has been an improvement over your current desktop. You can use Conjure to handle any project with much greater ease than a traditional desktop. There's one issue remaining. You probably don't just do one thing. If you're like most Mac users, you're in charge of a lot of things. So Conjure brings you unlimited desktops. Think of them as desktop pages. To create a new desktop, just go to the Page menu and choose New Page. If you choose the Page Overview item, you get a thumbnail view of all of your pages. Just click a page to visit it, or use the arrow keys on the heads-up display to navigate back and forth. That's it! We hope you enjoy Conjure. If you have any questions or comments, send them to me at conjurebunny at mac.com and visit our main site anytime at conjurebunny.com.